What's up everyone, Exusio here on stage, and today I'm looking at the Peach Energy Luxseed Gash Pond version from Kamen Rider Gaim. This Luxseed was available in Gash Pond set 12, and like with all the Energy Luxseeds that come from the Gash Pond and Candy Twin line, they are quite different from their DX counterparts, so let's take a look at that. Like I've stated before in the Cherry Energy Luxseed review, uh, unlike the DX where they're translucent, this, these are like solid periwinkle, baby blue frost colors. Uh, but the lock part does retain its translucent glitteriness, so that is cool. And as I've also stated before, there is no button to activate the spring gimmick to open the energy lock seeds. You have to do it manually, so let's open this real quick. Open the peach inside, and you can see the peach really reflective. It's really cool. To me, the peach energy kind of looks like Marika's head. These kind of look like the eyes, and this kind of looks like the shape of her dome head, which is interesting. I don't know if anyone has pointed that out before, but that's what it kind of looks like. That's what it kind of looks like to me. But the overall look of the Loxeed is pretty gorgeous. This me this metallic pink color is really, really nice. I like it. And we got ELS-03. So Peach Energy's little theme is this kind of Indian sound, which is actually pretty cool. I think I still like the Cherry Energy Luxie a bit more, though, but it, this is definitely my second favorite. So we got our Peachy Energy arms. And like with the Cherry Energy Lock Seed and all the other Energy Lock Seeds in the Candy and Gash Pond line, there is the feature where you can actually do the Jimba Mix. So let's go ahead and bring in Orange once again, and we can become Jimba Peachy. So we are now Jimba Peach. Really, really So cool. can I recommend this lock seed? Honestly, it's completely up to you. If you already have the DX Peach Energy lock seed, then you really don't need this unless you want a Peach Energy just to toy around with. If the non-translucent colors and the spring gimmick are something you really care about, then go on and get a DX version. But since this is the Gash Pond, you don't need the Sengoku or the Genesis driver to activate any of the sounds. They are all activated by the little button down there. And it can also do that. Amazing. That is all. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos in the future and Exusho off stage.